I wonder if you've ever chanced upon any foreign books. As our nation has opened up, there are more and more of them in circulation. It seems there are many tomes about Western technology and weaponry. I'd love to find them, but I'm far too busy inventing. I know! Why don't you search for books for me? Come on, what do you say? They'll no doubt help me improve my tinkering skills. Let's see what he can do. Quite the collection. Good work. What would you like me to work on? Do you want me to improve this? Oh, hold on. Do you have a moment? I have a little problem that needs solving. Mind if I pick your brains a little? No, don't be like that. Just hear me out first. The fate of the tinkerer hangs in the balance. So. Some officials barged in the other day, demanding that I invent some mechanisms that could be utilized for combat. Of course, I do have some experience in designing tools for clients, but only for those I trust. And these men, I did not. As you'd expect, I refused. So they demanded I hand over some of my inventions, lest I be drugged off and beheaded. Which is when it came to me. The perfect scheme to get one over on them. However, the plan requires some assistance. Please, can I count on you? Truly, I owe you one. I know this is sudden, but can you come to my hidden storehouse with me? I've left some tools there. Come on. Let's be off! Hold it, Iska. Where do you think you're going? Oh, um, just going to pick up some materials. <laughs> you are not fooling anyone, pal. How about I help you concentrate on your work? Of course, they're barely a threat to you. But do it quickly, please. So do you could weasel your way out of his bodyguard? I'm putting you down here, and now! Honestly, since I can't go anywhere alone anymore, I really appreciate you agreeing to help. This way, follow me. The Shogunate obviously wants an advantage over its enemies. But I'd thank them not to drag me into their bloody mess. I keep my inventions at my secret storehouse. <laughs> inventions, I say. But it's mostly useless junk. They've served to fool that official for a while, passed off as works in progress. But he's starting to suspect. If this 
plan doesn't work, well, I think up another one. But with you coming along, I'm sure all will be well. Fortunately, I've got something handy on me. Come on, over here. Why don't you try using this? I made it using a Western clockwork mechanism. It takes in sounds from the surroundings and expresses them visually. It's only a prototype, but you should be able to make good use of it. Well, it should allow you to detect foes in hiding or even through solid walls. I'll hide here until it's over. Use my new device well, and you're bound to have the upper hand. The way is clear. Now we can enter the storehouse. All right, let's 
go with this. It ought to look the part to them. I can't thank you enough for your help, and certainly not with this junk. But if you see anything you like, it's all yours. Ah, you want to use the fire pipe? It's a little dangerous. But all right, let's step outside and try it. Go ahead and fire the pipe at the barrel over there. Make sure to keep your distance. That's the way. Try to scream. Hey, looks like someone's still here. Looks like you frightened off the rest of them. I'll leave the fire pipe to you, along with the figuring out how to use it. Now we have all the tools we need. The next step is to contact Yukichi Fukuzawa to help as well, and go over the plan with him. Fukuzawa's knowledge is vital. He doubles in Western medicine and is an expert on chemicals as well. Right. Let's split up for now. I'll get Fukuzawa up to speed in the meantime, but let's meet again soon. Please, this way. It's always a pleasure to see you. I'm sorry, but I really haven't heard much of anything. Out of interest, what precisely is your relationship? You say so. We know they were employed as a guard for Mr. Harris. If you wish to investigate, it might be wise to start there. Apparently, Mr. Harris has been in hiding since the incident. As to where he is, well... Why not try asking around at the Grand Villa? It's where Westerners mingle with the High and Mighty. And then there's... Well, let's just say there might be another way. I have some contacts in the Shogunate. If you are interested in doing a favor for them, I could make the necessary arrangements. I'm sure you recall what I told you when I asked you to take those photographs. I hear all sorts of things, things the Shogunate likes to know. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? Well, either way, I really do have something to ask you. I would like you to obtain a certain letter held by the Samurai of Mito. To do so, you will have to infiltrate their base. Once you have secured the letter, Deliver it directly to me. Directly. 
Understood. If the samurai give you trouble, well, I trust you will know what to do. So, do we have a deal? Ah, dependable, as always. Well then, head to the Hodogaya post. One of our allies will be expecting you. That was quite a night, wasn't it? Heres is in hiding somewhere. Either way, now that the treaty has been signed, killing him won't make any difference. Heres was never your main concern though, correct? Your sights were set on the samurai from the black ships. Learning Harris's whereabouts will help you find this samurai of yours, I suppose. Then, I recommend you pay a visit to the Grand Villa. That's where the powers that be rub shoulders with the foreigners. One particular shogunate official, Yukichi Fukuzawa, has been in and out a lot of late. Katsura, and you, together, I see. Hello, Shinsaku! Nice to see you here, finally. Let's just get right to it, shall we? I can tell you, we've located Master Shoin. The Red Demon got him. He's been imprisoned. If we want to save him, we have no choice but to act. And as luck would have it, we've heard some good news. It seems that the Mito clan has a letter, the contents of which would force the Red Demon to stand down. And if we get our hands on this letter, we could potentially get Master Showing out of prison. But after the Harris incident, the authorities have their eyes on us, and we must use extreme care not to alert them to the letter's existence. That's where you come in. I want you to get that letter from the Mito clan and bring it to me. Can I count on you? Excellent. I thank you. I know this is a lot to ask, but try to avoid any casualties, if at all possible. After all, they are not our enemy. We will have a contact stationed at Hodogaya. Rendezvous with them when you are ready. Let me die in spring, under the blossoming trees. Mm -hmm. And who might you be? Ah, uh, well, if you insist. My name is Yukichi Fukuzawa. I am a samurai from Nakatsu. I am working for the shogunate while I complete my studies. And this here is Ernest Sato. He's a British interpreter. Pleased to meet you. Fukuzawa-san was just teaching me more of his marvelous language. Oh, I fear I have very little left to teach you. It is I whose language skills are lacking. I must learn English. Tell me, what brings you here? The American Consul General, Harris? Well... Hold on one minute. What do you want with him? His life was threatened just the other day, you know. I'm certainly not going to lead a perfect stranger directly to his door. Why, just look at you. You might very well be an assassin. Hmm. 
I won't pretend to understand your motivations. Fukuzawa-san, you were keen to meet with the Consul, are you not? Perhaps this individual could come with. Even if they are an assassin, they couldn't do much if you were there. You are a master martial swordsman, after all. Very well. I'm not convinced, but I will do as you wish. The Consul is in a temple near the Kanagawa post. Fukuzawa-san will show you precisely where. Hold on! Do you not intend to accompany us? Attacks on foreigners in that particular area are on the rise. I will remain here. You should have no trouble, however. Hmm. Well, I suppose you're right. I'll go ahead and see how things are looking. Meet me at the Kanagawa post. Of all the horses to get stolen, it had to be that one! Hey, can you help me? Someone's pilfered my horse! It's a white horse, with a gorgeous coat. Damn it! I had a buyer lined up and all! Please, friend, you have to help me! You can bring it back, can't you? The thief went off toward the checkpoint. But I don't know their exact location. It'll be sold off if you don't hurry. Please, bring it back to the stable as soon as you can. I'll give you good reward, I promise.
Welcome, welcome. I'm about to pack up for the day, but if you like anything you see, don't hesitate to pipe up. Ah, that one caught your eye, has it? That's one fine specimen, I must say. Only came into my possession today, actually. The white one with the handsome coat is my most recent find. It won't come cheap. But it'll be worth it, I assure you. Interested? How about it then? Fancy taking the white one off my hands? It'll make a truly excellent steed, I guarantee. Ah, no wonder. I had my suspicions, a man like that with a fine horse like this. Don't worry about the fee. Just take it back to its owner. I know how much effort it must have taken to raise an outstanding horse like this.
I owe you. Here, I want you to have this special tack. It'll look good on your horse. I guarantee it. Listen. Hey, you. You look like trouble. You might be just who I'm looking for. Rough someone up for me, and I'll make it worth your while. You interested? There's this real piece of work who swindled me out of some money. I saw him hanging around the waste ground up ahead. Come on, go and rough him up, will you? I'll make it worth your while. Much obliged. I knew you wouldn't let me down. <laughs> feeling you would come. Let me show you the ropes. It's safer that way. Wander in alone, and you're sure to be ripped off. I've got a feeling I'm going to win big. As long as you let me borrow some of your good luck, that is. your bets. You finished? Then betting is closed. The numbers are three and six. Odd. Haha, <laughs> I won. Next game. Down goes the cup. Folks, come, place your bets. You finished? Then betting is closed. The numbers are five and three even. Yes! Next game! Well, I had quite a hot hand. How did you fare? Ah, fair enough. It's about that time. Stay too long? And you never know what you'll get mixed up in. Hey you! Looks like you're on a roll! Want to share some of your good fortune? <laughs> Hey, 
Hit them. So, what do you make of the place? There's never any shortage of gamblers to take money from. Come whenever you feel like letting your hair down. See you around. Excuse me, but could I ask? Pray, will you listen to this poor beggar? I'm looking for my daughter and require your assistance. I used to run a prosperous shipping business out in Nagasaki. That is, until my ships were wrecked in the great earthquake and I lost my wife to disease. In order to make a fresh start here in Yokohama, I put my daughter in a geisha house, telling her I'd be back soon. The poor child believed me. Then when my health started to fail, I went looking for her. And now I hear her contract's been bought and she's gone away. Doubtless, it's too late for me to ask for forgiveness. But if I could have one last look, a photograph even, perhaps I could rest in peace. You're too kind. Now, my daughter's name is Risa. I would speak to the other geisha, but they refuse to see a beggar like myself. You saved my life. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Lisa? Yes, I used to work with her. Not many girls with names like that. Wait, did something happen to her? <laughs> 
so. Her deadbeat dad had a pang of conscience, did he? Probably couldn't even recognize her face. Want me to pose as her? Oh, so it wasn't a face-to-face -face meeting you were looking for then? In that case, make sure you capture my good side, okay? Took the photograph. Well, show it to me. Oh, this woman. Never mind. Thank you. I appreciate your helping me. <laughs> 